Right, today I've got, um, I just, last week I got a new set of whistles in from uh, Pablo. Uh, I got a, uh, I got an A flat, and I got a, I got a D flat, and <clears throat> I have a, I have an earlier D uh, from him, and so what I was, since for comparison purposes, uh, I went ahead and put the D body onto the, the new D flat head that I got, um, and it seems to work pretty well um, so I have the original head here and I, f I find it really interesting uh, it looks like I think Pablo's made some design changes since the last whistle that I had the last whistle I had had a breathiness and a softness to it and you can go back and watch some of the older videos that I did uh, but this new head is very is much purer um, Which actually is more in line with it's more in line with my uh, my clover D. So here's the clover. So you can hear kind of the tonal similarities. This one's a little bit, um, got a bit more um, fine texture, maybe. So uh, when I got the set, I the D flat really um, felt like a whistle that that uh, like he like like Pablo's taking his his whistle craft up a notch. Now some people like the older um, the older head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these heads out real quick, and you can see the original head on the D body, and I'm going to put this back on the the D flat. Put it on the wrong end. Let's see if this. So that D flat is very nice, um, and I'm I um uh I I think this is probably about as good as any uh it's it's right up there. It's an excellent whistle. So uh, for my tastes, I feel like that's very high end, pro level, and for what I paid for it, it is a, an excellent deal. So uh, here's uh, the the here's the original head that I had for my. Uh, my D flat or my D whistle, the first whistle I got. This is the one I got from him last year. Uh, and you can hear.
So you can hear that, that softer, breathier uh, tone. The other one has a more solid, pure uh, core. So, um, but he could, uh, you might talk to him if you like that sound better. You might specify uh, if you if you want to order any from him. Um, here is, by comparison, the the PVC whistle, CPVC whistle that he sent me. And this one was also a pure whistle. This is uh, kind of in between the two. A warmer sound because of the CPVC. So that's another nice one, strong sound. Uh, and then, and then uh, here is here's the A flat. This is aluminum A flat. This one is more like he said that the the new head designs that he's been working on have he's only used them on the higher whistles. Uh, to the low whistles still have that breathier, softer sound. War and it's a warm sound. And then finally, uh, I have this, uh, this was a narrow bore uh, E flat, I think. And I actually, <laughs> anyway, it, it, it's a, it's, there's a story behind how I ended up getting them. But uh, here's, Might be an E. Nice mellow, uh, kind of breathy sound on it. The windway is is pretty wide, and so it does take a lot of air. Um, and so normally narrow bores are are associated with a smaller, thinner sound. And I think that because it's such an open windway, uh, it it gets a lot of fullness from that. But it does take a lot of air to play, and there's not a lot of back pressure. Um, so for my preferences, I would like a, a little bit of a narrower sound. But it does. nice uh, open soft sound so just from a tactile point of view I like having a little bit more to push against uh, and maybe a little bit more breath efficiency but um, still a, a very good whistle uh, what happened with those whistles is is someone else uh, couldn't pay for their order and so I was like it wasn't much so I, I was like hey Bob I'll pay for the order send him the whistles and he ended up sending the whistles to me um, which 
it was cool because I'm I, I've been curious about the CPVC uh, high D, so I, I got to try those. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of a mix up in communication. Uh, once again, I didn't mean to purchase them for myself, but uh, it was is nice that he sent them to me. So anyway, I hope that's helpful uh, and and interesting. If if you're curious about uh, Pablo's whistles, find him on on Facebook. He's he's active in in the the Tin Whistle Penny Whistle Resource Group, and you can message him directly and see where he's where he is on his whistle making endeavors. Uh, I'm sure I think he does it just part time. So, uh, but for the money there it's very difficult to find better quality instruments out there uh and so i'm i'm glad i've gotten a chance to try some of them and I, I, the d flat i think is is i don't have a lot of d flat whistles but i feel like now i have a very high quality uh professional level d d flat uh should i need it so anyway, thanks <laughs>